Good morning. We're getting our orders rolling. We've got 10 of them and a bunch of them are to foreign lands today on the crazy picker life with wheeler dealer and banana peeler welcome fellow pickers and would-be adventurers dealer again wednesday morning crazy picker life okay so Order flow has been pretty good. I've got 10 here for banana peeler to start working on. I wanted to show uh, the orders off in general. It's, you know, these are camera things. I've got some more in my office that are not camera stuff. But one interesting point. 10 orders here and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six foreign. So that can happen on any given day. This big Nikon D1. Thailand, this little goober, Japan, this little goober, Canada, India, Canada, and to round it out, Iceland. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good. So, I guess if I had to take a guess. Uh, this happens once a week and I don't know if eBay has some sort of rolling here's the new stuff from your favorite sellers and they roll it out on all the international sites and that lures uh, international buyers into the US items or if uh, it's just coincidence but once a week, it seems like there's a higher percentage on one given day. And if I had to choose the day that it is, it is typically like a Wednesday or a Thursday, which means it would be a Tuesday night or Wednesday night when those orders are coming in our time. Doesn't, uh, you know, I don't know what time that is around the globe. That gets a little complicated. But I find that interesting. Uh, international business is a large part of our business. That is what I wanted to show. Okay, on with the day. Okay, 16 packages going out. Hello, Elizabeth. Hi. Elizabeth is helping today. Try to alternate as much as we can. I hear you got school pictures yesterday. How'd they go? Good. Yeah, that's fun, isn't it? Okay, so uh, driving down here gives me a chance to focus and talk a little bit about what's going on. Basically, all day long I'm just hanging on and getting as much regular stuff done as I can. And then I'm positioning myself in the evening to make progress on the big sort project and I have to uh, I have to say the sort project with all its challenges is coming along nicely I like uh, I like the results so far I like what I'm seeing I think I made the right decision on the totes and I think I, I'm making the right decision on this process of what uh, what I'm doing here now the big the big challenges with the sort are we're right in the middle of this momentum thing and so I feel stress because we're trying to get listings done a certain number of things done I'm not listing much I'm listing just a few things that I pick up and a few things that come my way I'm getting some more things together so I can list them but every day I don't list is not good I feel that stress uh, what else? <laughs> Wheeler feels that stress too. His stuff is getting uh, a little less sparkly and some wear and tear is setting in. This whole momentum thing I think is key to our business and probably would be key to any small business 
that wants to test the waters of the current systems that you have in place and test uh, you know what's 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 going on in the business test people's fortitude in the business it's important to do that it's important to push the pace once in a while now can you push it too far yes I think you can I don't know we're uh, we're certainly testing the uh, exterior dimensions of what's possible and I I knew when we made a big goal and I knew when we decided to stick with it throughout the goal that those days would come so I'm gonna keep going so more of the same with the sort tonight we're gonna stop and do a quick uh, two-minute pick here if we find anything I'll show it I'm gonna keep showing stuff on the sort I think that's kind of fun for everybody I'm not sure but what else am I gonna show same old same old right all we do is the same old stuff different day a little bit different okay as promised I'm back sorting <laughs> well cameras 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 galore there's some good ones here here's a whole bunch of camera stuff I remember yesterday uh, Wheeler said FTBs not the uh, where is it uh, no FT uh, FTBs he, he liked those more than just the regular FTs but anyway there's uh, six of them and an FTB in black so lots of cameras some are better than others uh, average this price probably 50 bucks maybe a little bit more pulled a couple nice lenses off there I already talked to Wheeler he loves uh, motor drives too so here's here's a couple of myths on cameras so far that have come through on the uh, chat board or whatever question board we used to have this we alternate it seems between lenses and uh, cameras the lenses here there still looks like a bunch here but really they go pretty fast we sell a bunch of those daily uh, we had pretty much a half shelf of lenses three four months ago and before that we had most of these shelves full of camera bodies and now we're down to very few camera bodies. And so these camera bodies, when tested and sorted out, you sort out the ones that are not working, you can sell those for parts. If they're high end enough, you can sell lots of them sometimes. Some of them you can't sell, but there's only so many of these camera bodies out there and every year a bunch of them get trashed and broken and thrown out and every year there's new people taking photography class whatever so uh, that coupled with collectors and certain things uh, are hot and get hot and stay hot and some of them go away a little bit whatever camera bodies uh, older ones the metal ones uh, you know not the throwaway ones as much not the 90s ones as much, although there's plenty of 90s camera bodies that are still hot. You got to look them up. Uh, they're worth money. And most of, most of what's on this table right now is not going to be lotted up. These are all going to be sold individually. We can ship them reasonable. We can be competitive on the price. We give guarantees that they're going to work. 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, we test them, all that stuff. Do we get a few back uh, here and there? Do we have to answer some questions? Do we have to help people with lens selection? I mean, there's we're committed to that. So there's a whole process. There can be a whole process. It's not as easy as listing a tin toy where what you get is what it is, right? <laughs> or a sign, what you get is what it is, mostly, if you've taken good pictures, measured it, and described it. There's a little more uh, front end and back end to camera bodies. The other question or comment that came through is maybe you shouldn't dump 30 Canon AE-1s or 20 Canon AE-1s on the market at one time and 
in in particular that particular brand unlimited market out there uh, 2030 at one time you will not saturate that market and if they're priced reasonably competitively we'd like to put things on sale off sale uh, we'll sell 2030 Canon AE1s we'll sell those out within six weeks typically if it's the wrong 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 time of year maybe a little longer that would only happen a couple times a year the right time of year Holiday time, gift giving time, after holiday time, uh, when people have their money from holiday time or they don't have to buy gifts so they got extra money. Camera people are buying in the uh, January, February, March. And then uh, buying time would be around whenever a month or so before school is going to start. And then it, it keeps going pretty steady until classes actually start. People uh, have to pick up a class, they pick up a photography class, they need a camera, bing, bang, bam. So we can dump 30 Canon AE1s on the market and they'll be gone. We have had uh, a number of times in the last five years where we've had 10 or 12 at a time. We may have 30 this time and that's pretty high. I mean, this is, this is more camera bodies than we've ever had at, at any one time. In the last couple of days, I've probably shown three four hundred camera bodies that's a, that's a lot that's a lot there's no way around that uh it's good stuff that's all i need to say it's good stuff i'm not down about it i love it it's good 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 bread and butter and then some lot up and then some throw out and then there's also some uh a grade you know fifty dollars and higher hundred dollar camera bodies etc these uh, Canon QLs here, and they look to be physically in really good shape. Those are really, uh, those are really good cameras. Those are good. I don't know what they go for, but I know they're good. Bzzz. Oh, another Graflex, another Stereo Realist. Some box stuff. Some interesting uh, twin lens reflex cameras. Some good uh, bits and pieces. We already looked through this stuff. This is this is it. So the good news about my camera hoard here <laughs> is it's not going down in value, and so I have to balance how much stuff I don't have listed compared to my cash flow, so I can keep buying stuff. Uh, I could tip over the apple cart pretty easily if things slow way down or we're not listing or whatever. So there's a lot of ways I could go with this. After we're done with momentum, I'm going to encourage Wheeler to list steadily, but I'm not going to I'm not going to have him kill himself. He likes to be streaky, and that's why the momentum thing really uh, really works. Momentum might, you know, three months might be too much <laughs> for both of us. Uh, I could learn camera stuff. I really am not interested in learning the ins and outs to the level of Wheeler. So maybe one of my kids, maybe uh, I'll just have 10 years worth of camera stuff after a while. <laughs> I'm not against that as long as I can pay for it because I, I, I have to admit... Uh, we don't pay a lot for this stuff. We have uh, we have a good source, and uh, you know what can you do? I'm caught. I got a tiger by the tail, <laughs> and I ain't willing to let go. If you were me, you'd have the same dilemma. So, knowing all I know about my situation. I've got a tiger by the tail and I ain't letting go. <laughs> Keep sorting. Okay, uh, next load. I think this is my last one for tonight. Last night, uh, I was up too late. By the time I got to bed, it was like 2 a.m. That's too late with how early I've been getting up and everything I've been doing. You like to see that right there. Uh, if that's a real beady screen in there, which it's really hard to tell not going to get into why. Wheeler says it's really hard to tell. 
Uh, those can be two, three, four hundred dollars. It's incredible. Hasselblad box stuff is always, always good. Hasselblad stuff in general is good. Good bits and pieces in here. In the middle here, this stuff goes down in value uh, a little bit, and I don't like cases for the most part. Even though you can make money, we make some money on cases. Lots of issues with cases. Uh, hard to measure them. Hard to match them up to cameras. Some of them stink. Da 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 da. -da. Um, anything camera. Wheeler loves. <laughs> and some he loves a little less. But he does like cases. I don't know. You can get them for nothing. And so I guess there's a draw. Down on this end, these are this is a good bunch of stuff for the most part. Little things in there like these uh, Nova Flex pieces and these little weird looking things. I don't know what they are. Backs for medium format. And these are some old, uh, really interesting tripods. Uh, there are good tripods. Wheeler will get 30 bucks or more. The way he lists them. People, when they're buying camera stuff, value somebody that can get them what they need. And one of the challenges right now for camera enthusiasts, especially uh, middle-end collectors, middle-end users, high-end collectors, high-end users, there's so much stuff out there to sift through, and condition is, is hard to determine through a computer screen. And so we're able to add that uh, that to uh, the whole deal. Okay, I'm going to get uh, Wheeler down here. We'll get his two cents on this load. I think he's going to like some of the things down, down on the far end down there. And then I'll uh, put this stuff away and chat a minute and wrap this, wrap this rodeo up. Wheeler's on camera for his one minute. Yeah. Or ten minutes. Uh oh, I can't. It's not very action oriented. Ooh, yeah, it is. There you go. I lost one of these in the robbery or whatever at the van a long time ago. When we were Battery grip is really hard to find for my 5D. We were broke in. Finally found one. Woo! That's probably it. Guess can I grab it? That's probably it. Yeah, we get a free replacement. Sure. Okay, let's do it. When do I get new windows for my van? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's actually really cool. It's that really has blood back. Wow, that's really early. It actually has the hand scratch seal number in there. Mm. That's probably, I mean, depending on how early that is, that's worth a bigger one. Five or ten bucks. Some real weird fancy ones right here, too. What the heck? Five or ten dollars. Wow, these are weird and fancy. Had a couple zeros, maybe? Yeah. I don't that's know. Pretty. Okay, so anything stick out? You like these Hasselbladdies? Yep, some good stuff in here for sure. I like these things. Oh, actually, there's a Russian. Russian prism, coffee spot, no reflex. Better than all those darn camera bodies, huh? Yeah, at least more interesting stuff. Right. That is one downside with the camera bodies is it can get sort of monotonous. Yeah, the thing is I looked through about 40 battery grips, and that's the first one I've seen that actually fits. That's the one. Hope it works. Only made one model number. That's cool. Hope it works. Yep. Okay, so uh, rest of the night I'm going to put this away and stow all my stuff away again, making a pretty good dent in this big pile of totes. Uh, not quite to 50 yet, but getting there, I think. And I'll give you a look back here. It's looking pretty good. Oh, it's looking pretty good, huh? looking pretty good over there that's where I built built my tower of green totes and don't you know don't have a whole lot of stuff here it's plenty and then there's some stuff I just haven't had the energy to go through yet I know what's in there and I have to make some decisions there's things like light meter collections and one of these is there's there's a couple more that are uh, camera cases and flashes, camera flashes, 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 flashes. Some of that stuff um, I'm gonna have to do a real hard sort on. 
I tried to sell out some of those kind of things, the low end kind of those things for cheap at auction and just no, nobody wants that, some of that stuff. So there is camera stuff that nobody wants, even if it's uh, workable. It's just, uh, there's too much of it out there. And one of the things that happens as you go farther back for a while with cameras like 90s, 80s, 70s, 60s stuff, 50s stuff even, people tend to want to use the higher end stuff and collect the higher end stuff. The lower end stuff, unless it's really obscure or certain categories, they don't want it. And then it changes when you go earlier than that. So, And of course, that's just a general statement. That's not a 100% statement. So don't take that for a for 100% law across the board. Okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> I'm making headway. I want to be done with this Saturday. So that's Thursday, that's tomorrow, Friday, Saturday. I want to be done with this. And I am going to have to pull out all stops to do that. I can't stop doing school with the kids. That's important. Uh, I do want to go out to eat with Lon one of those days. Uh, I am going to not work through the night any of those days. I'm going to have a little relaxing. I'm going to continue to do my running. Um, I will be back Monday. When I come back Monday after a four-day break from the vlog, I hope to have this looking sweet and organized. Um, I think it will. I think it'll be worth talking about. I think uh, I'll be recharged just from the idea that I've got it done. And uh, I'll be ready to start listing uh, all the camera stuff that I haven't listed yet that I can and will list. So uh, I'm not dropping the vlog. I'll be back on Monday. But I'm taking a four-day uh, sweep here and focusing on getting this done. Now I've shown what we have here in detail for three days. And it'll be more of the same if I just keep vlogging. I know, you know, I know everybody's different on what they want to see. I know some people just tune in every day. No matter what I show, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Five days in a row of the same thing. I don't know. Six days in a row of the same thing. I'm not sure it would be that great. Not to mention, I just, I really am going to focus down and go for, for a hard chunk tomorrow and a long chunk on Friday and a long till I'm done chunk on Saturday, starting early till late, whatever it takes. Sunday I'm taking off. If I don't make it, if I don't get this cleared out, um, I'll reassess. The other thing I need to do is I need to sit down with Lon, I need to sit down with myself, I need to sit down with Wheeler, and really need to re reassess this momentum once I have some of the pieces together here, how much stuff we have left, the dollar amount stuff I have left, uh, what are we going to do to make it, can we make it, look at the days left salvage uh, some of it because obviously we're not on pace for the number. We're doing well, but we're not on pace. And so uh, that is what I'm going to have clicking through my mind with my free mind time. <laughs> so no vlog, but the free mind time is going to be spinning on that. And, I, and that's part of the focus is I need, I need to just uh, sort of become part of my inventory for a couple of days. You wouldn't want to hang with me when I become part of my inventory. Nobody does. <laughs> so I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all the comments. I read them all. Uh, some I appreciate more than others. <laughs> I get it. I get it all. Uh, it's funny. It's funny. So if you did like the show, give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. The show appreciates that. YouTube loves it. I hear that they actually don't mind if it's up or down. 
they uh, they give you the same benefit whether you get up or down if you got too many thumbs down you're controversial you get too many thumbs up you're you're hot <laughs> it don't matter i guess other than they want they want activity right pick well list often i will be back monday 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 have a good weekend dealer out Dealer Production. <laughs>